Hi Shashwat, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your new role. So, uh, you. would you like to introduce yourself first? Sure, just I can go ahead. Yeah. So, talking about my professional journey and how like I am at Google right now. So, just a little brief about my background. I actually graduated from VIT. I completed my computer science engineering. I graduated in 2021. And I joined UBS as an SD1, so that is uh, Swiss Bank itself. So I was in Pune. So I have around three and a half years of experience in UBS. So the last position I held at UBS was an SD2, and my work at UBS primarily revolved around Java, REST APIs, microservices, and development for the investment banking research team. So that was more of a fintech role, uh, wherein the functional perspective was all in uh, the finance side. However, uh, for the uh, I received an uh, invite from an interviewer for my current role that is at Google, and I joined Google in March of 2025 of this year. So yeah, that's a bit of background about myself. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now maybe tell us about the journey, like how how did some did somebody reach out to you or what happened, and then what were the rounds, and how how did you finally land the position? Sure. So in my case, actually, I had not applied to Google. So I received an invite uh, for a conversation from a technical recruiter from Google on LinkedIn. Okay. So post which we connected and then we discussed regarding the expectations for the role and if they align with my expectations or not. Uh, post which we scheduled a pre-screening round. So this is actually prior to the interview. So in totality, there were five rounds. Okay. And this pre-screening was actually taken by the interviewer itself, uh, the recruiter itself. Okay. So there were a few basic questions pertaining to uh, pertaining to graphs and to trees. Like, uh, for example, there were pr primarily MCU questions, but in a rapid fire format. Okay. So, for example, there were questions like, uh, uh, you know, the time complexity of a specific max heap to find the max element or the minimum min element mm. and so on and so forth. There were around roughly, I guess, 15 to 20 questions, uh, wherein post which she had informed me during the round itself that uh, you will be going ahead with uh, the other set of interviews. The actual engineers will recruit you. So for that, you will move forward. So this was my pre-screening round. So after this, actually, I think around a week later, I received the invite for my first technical interview. So in totality, there were four rounds after this first round. Okay. So uh, the first three were technical and the last one was actually a, a Googliness round, that is a behavioral round. Okay. okay. So uh, talking about, yeah. So talking about the first round, so uh, in terms of the uh, technical round as well, so the first one was actually a coding plus a SQL round. So in terms of the coding, the first, uh, bo both of the questions were actually LC medium itself. And uh, after going through the solution, they actually do not make you write uh, in a pair programming kind of a setup. It's more like uh, it's more like a setup on uh, Google Docs itself. So wherein you write the code, you're expected to write as much as syntax you can. But if it goes here or there, it, it, it's fine. They do not uh, really test you on the syntax of the code when you're uh, interviewing for Google. So uh, what happened was once you completed that, it was very similar to usual tech interviews wherein they try to go through the entire step and they try try to have a dry run of the entire. Uh, solution that you've written test some edge cases in some cases uh, it might not be optimized for time so time complexity they asked you for your solution and then you had to you know kind of uh, work on that and uh, they were pretty helpful so uh, this is something that uh, i was very surprised at because for all of the companies that i've interviewed prior to google i have never seen the interviewer being so helpful like towards you and being so welcoming so I remember each of my interviewer had always mentioned that, okay, the reason why I am looking down, like the interview is looking down and not at me is because they have to take a lot of notes and it's not that they're not listening. So they, they kept in mind of all of these things. So it was a very comfortable interview, I would say. Like it was challenging from a technical perspective, but from an interpersonal skill perspective, we did not feel like you're an interviewee like you do sometimes. So yeah, that was the uh, two coding questions. And after that, after those edge case discussions, we then moved on to SQL. 
so sql again was not very straight forward to be honest so as part of the development as part of the sql queries that we were asked so it was actually a database that we were given again on google uh, docs itself in that there were a couple of tables so you had to perform various joins and collate certain fictional data out of that and then there were follow up questions of why we are using certain joins why are we doing a full scan of the table how we can you know implement indexes on the same so it was a deep dive on that and uh, the round actually lasted for i think 1 hour and 10 minutes it was scheduled for an hour so yeah that was the first round and after the first round again i got a follow up from the recruiter the day after that i had cleared it and i'll be moving forward to the next round so the next round as i mentioned again was a technical round and in this also the uh, the first segment was a coding uh, uh, question round and the second one was actually based on web technologies so as far as i uh, have talked to a few recruiters and to my fellow colleagues as well so this this round was actually a little specific to my role so i am actually working in google ads right now so based on my role the first two coding questions were pretty standard one was an lc medium was one was an lc hard so actually the patterns were also kind of very important because uh, one was a sliding window so you could actually identify that and move ahead comparatively faster mm. so uh, once i was able to uh, complete those two coding questions like i had done in the first round uh, and with the time complexity the edge cases all of that then we actually moved forward with the web technologies side of the things so in web technologies they actually asked regarding http https cookies some very vague ended questions like uh, what do you know about uh, this specific part of how the internet works so they were trying to dig in a little on the generic knowledge as well and then they tried to dig a little bit more towards uh, uh, rest apis and also towards graphql uh, nothing on paper but just about your understanding some scenarios and then we move forward to the next round so now coming to round 3 this was something that i've never seen with any company till date so it was more of a debugging round so what was what happened was that they actually gave you a specific scenario for example in my case the scenario was that okay if you uh, let's say you are working for an e-commerce firm and there are certain uh, users who are saying uh, there are let's say two category of users category a and b a in the same pin code is saying that a certain item is available for them however b is saying that it's not available so what can be the actual scenario and how would you as a software engineer go through the entire process okay. of uh, you know investigating and debugging so the question was a very open ended question and uh, you are actually expected to ask a lot of questions so mm-hmm. one thing that i forgot to mention was that the recruiter prior to each round kind of informs you that okay this might be uh, the area around which you'll be asked questions for example a debugging question he had informed that okay mm-hmm. these these might be certain kinds of things that uh, that might be asked so this is something that is again very different that i saw so i answered that question saying that okay we started off with uh, our uh, entire architecture of the uh, of the system wherein i took them forward asking questions about the front end the back end the user journey how the user is logging in and what is behind so uh, you are expected to go through uh, and point out if there is a uh, error on the repo at the very end so we try to check for network latency is try to check for anything else uh, acting out on the database any specific shard so that is how i try to explain and went through the entire solution and they had a few follow ups on that as well but yeah, the other debugging round uh, was such and post this uh, one uh, debugging question they, we also move forward to system design so in system design there were a few questions regarding rest apis versus graphql and uh, talking about uh, to my surprise we also touched upon soap as well a little so i thought uh, that is kind of outdated now so we touched a little upon that as well and some things on uh, monolithic versus microservices since i had mentioned that in my previous firm i worked with uh, microservices a lot so a few questions regarding that and my projects as well so yeah post that i was again uh, i had like a week then uh, when i did not have uh, when i did not hear back so after a week uh, the recruiter again reached out for the uh, final round uh, which is the googliness round 
So in the Googliness round, actually the VP uh, who was the VP itself in ads, he took my uh, Googliness round. Okay. And in the behavioral round, actually your preparation has to be uh, very targeted towards what you're answering. Again, uh, my recruiter played a very important role here. Hmm. So I had actually gone through uh, the star approach and the 3P approach to answer certain hypothetical questions and also answer certain questions which test okay if you were in a certain scenario have you actually what have you done in order to tackle the specific scenario and like just giving one example that i re recollect from my interview so for example uh, they asked one question that have you ever had certain arguments with let's say architects or senior leads within mm. the team regarding a specific design or any any implementation within the code so uh, in my case, I had actually had a very similar uh, scenario here wherein I was working for a Australian wealth management client who was themselves a Fortune 500 client and we were actually delivering them ratings and price targets for research companies within UBS. So I explained to them uh, regarding modularity is what we were uh, having a conflict around and how I managed that. So I answered using the STAR approach hmm. and uh, the, the situation and, and the tasks that I had to go through is what I tried to explain uh, within my fourth round as well. And uh, that went pretty smooth. There were a few questions around uh, why Google so and why I want to switch because in a few conversations I had mentioned that a fintech was something that, uh, you know, it excited me. So I had talked about uh, working in big tech and working at scale at Google is what uh, genuinely... Uh, encouraged me a lot uh, for applying so that was my fourth round and uh, from my fourth round to my offer rollout it was actually i think around one and a half to two months oh. which felt like a lot at that point of time but then mm -hmm. i heard from a lot of folks that it was way longer for a few of them so yeah that was uh, the kind of process for me okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience uh, that was really insightful Thank you for going into the details and it was great. And do you have any, any, uh, anything that you'd like to share from your learning experience? What, what do people need to focus on or people are trying any suggestions that you'd like to share for people are trying? Yeah. So, uh, one thing that I would like to say is that, uh, given the current, uh, process, right. We often like, I've seen a lot of folks, uh, within, within my, uh, within my batch also like they try to grind lead code first and you know they've because the kind of questions that are asked in interviews let's be very frank are a little different and a little more complicated from what we usually tend to face uh, when we're writing code right mm -hmm. so in order to uh, go through that i would rather suggest to build a foundation first for example what i did was for around 15 to 20 days i continuously focused on very simple problems on lc easy and questions around arrays, strings, and I was trying to uh, build a, a base on, you know, why a certain data structure is used rather than how it is being implemented. For example, yeah. why I'm using hash maps or hash set and not using something else. Mm -hmm. So once that becomes clearer, you can then move on to pattern identification. For example, I mentioned about the sliding window or backtracking. So sliding window was something that had helped me so much in my second round that I was being, I was able to spend more time on the web technology side, which I was more confident at. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that is something. And I think once you're done with these two, you can then move on to graphs and trees, understand right. the basic traversals, BFS, BFS, and, mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, let's say on graphs also, for example, uh, on directed and undirected both, you can move on later on, but I would rather suggest build a foundation first because problem solving itself is based on if you can, you know, think out loud, which you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much again. I am sure all this is going to help many people and yes, thank you again for doing this. Sure. Thank you so much.